Now, before I start this, I want to let you guys know that I am late on it. I know I shouldn't have been waiting a month to put up this review, but the reason I did wait was just so I can make it more sophisticated and more elegant of a review with a green screen, more just like me not babbling on on about a certain movie that I like. Because let me tell you, I'm bad at explaining things, and so that's why I put this up so that. It's a lot better, and now I and I actually did write a script for it. I actually watched the movie a lot of times. I had to write every single thing down before I actually came up with my review. So I'm just gonna stop babbling on and on because you guys are tired of hearing it. Here's my review, guys. Enjoy, and if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment down below what other videos you want me to react to. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all later. Enjoy. Welcome, one and all, to the Oscar Film Show. Today we're going to be reviewing the Batman vs Superman movie, which was a complete failure according to the critics. I, on the other hand, absolutely loved the movie. This is a movie I felt was worth waiting three years for. As a comic book fan, I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. The moment where you see both Batman and Superman fighting each other on the silver screen. Tell me how that's not exciting to see. This movie had everything that I wanted for a live action movie based off a comic book. It had Superman and my most favorite superhero of all time, Batman along with Wonder Woman together on the big screen at the same time. The Trinity was born in this film. The highlight of this movie was Ben Affleck's Batman, aka Bruce Wayne, who was a billionaire playboy that saw his parents get shot when he was a little kid. From that moment on, he decided to fight crime as a man dressed as a bat, striking fear in the heart of criminals by becoming the mass vigilante, the Dark Knight, the Cape Crusader, the Bat of Gotham. This Batman was everything I wanted. He was a combination of the comic book Batman and the Arkham Games Batman, which I loved both. Now those of you who expected this Batman to be like the Nolan movie Batman and Keen's Batman, you are sadly mistaken. This version of Batman is actually a very old, tired, ruthless Batman, unlike anything you've ever seen before. The reason he became ruthless was due to the attack on Metropolis, where Bruce was going there for a business meeting in Wayne International. However, when he reaches there, there is a lot of destruction occurring in Metropolis, with a fight between Superman and the Kryptonians. And Bruce is trying to help all those people, but to no avail. From that point on, this meant the movie is about how the destruction of Metropolis causes Superman to become a villain in the eyes of the people. No matter how hard he tries, he is not able to win them over. Not only that, Bruce Wayne hates them <laughs> because of the deaths of all his business friends that were there in Metropolis and Wayne International. Two years later, Batman realizes that if Superman is capable of destroying a city, imagine what he could do to an entire world. So he tries to find a way to stop him because he believes that Superman can wipe out the entire human race if he wanted to. And he believes that Superman has to be destroyed. So this causes Batman to want to fight Superman and destroy him. The thing people may not have liked about the fight was how it ended. Where Superman tells Batman to save Martha. Martha, the exact same name of his mother. That is how the fight ends, and that is how they come to force together. Another thing that probably got people really mad was the fact that unlike Batman, Superman held back, and he didn't just kill him. Because he can if you really think about it. Batman had, Superman has powers, while Batman is just a man dressed as a bat. This movie has a lot of great actors performing very well in their own roles. The storyline in this movie has was very compelling that it tugged on my heartstring. It told me what it needed to tell me 
and I understood the story that much that it made me feel for the characters in the movie. This film is what it says it is. It's for the fans. The kind of fans that read the comics and visualize the scenes as, it is, as if it is happening in, the, in their heads as they are reading them. And it is also for those casual fans that know these characters from their old movies and how they grew up loving these movies back then. All in all, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice was the experience I've waited for so long for, and to me, it lived up to the hype. For that, I'm happily able to rate this movie an 8 out of 10. Although this movie was great, there were a few nitpicky things I had with the movie, but even with that, it still didn't ruin the movie for me. I would highly recommend that you go watch this movie by yourself and not because critics say so. Thanks so much for watching Ashu Films. I am Ashu Punjabi and I will see you all later. Peace.